Yeah, I think um, the game uh, pretty much changed in those first uh, 40 minutes uh, when we were batting and <clears throat> they really um, put up a great display how to bowl with the new ball and um, they hit perfect line and lengths and you know forced us to sort of make errors if any or uh, bowl good deliveries to us. So yeah, the pressure created was immense in those first 40-45 minutes and um, when you lose three wickets uh, for six, it's very difficult to come back into the game. Still, I think our effort was commendable, but um, yeah, that first spell made all the difference. Do you think that there was one day that probably you ex you should have expected the middle order to at least put their hands up? Because so are you disappointed? Um, and everyone goes out there to win the game for the team. And if it doesn't happen, you obviously feel like you know you you could have done things differently or uh, look at things in hindsight. But um, yeah, that's why these games are called knockouts because if the opposition plays better, you're out of the tournament suddenly. So we have to accept that. I think um, we can. We, we we're, we're sad, but we're not um, you know devastated because the kind of cricket that we played in this tournament. We know where we stood as a team and today we were not good enough and that's the nature of this tournament that a, a bad day at the at the knockout stage and you're out of the tournament. So um, I don't think that I, I would like to break things down immediately but in time we'll have to sit down and analyse where we went wrong and the things that we could have done right in this game particularly. Yeah, look, Rohit got um, a really good ball. I thought my, my ball was also decent. Um, yeah, a couple of short selections, yes, could have been better, which I already mentioned. Um, chasing 240, we were very comfortable. We we were confident that we can get the score. Uh, start is always important. And um, yeah, look, as I said, New Zealand, the way they bowled did not provide any opportunities for us. I think for the first seven or eight overs, we didn't get a ball to drive. So um, that shows the kind of control they bowled with. And um, they put the fielders in the right positions and you know there was a perfect spell of fast bowling with the new ball uh, which really put us under a lot of pressure so as i said we were not shying away from accepting that we didn't uh, stand up to the challenge and we were not good enough under pressure and we have to accept that and accept um, the failure as it as it shows on the scoreboard rishab looked like they were settling down a little heartbroken with the shot that rishab played at that point in time maybe could have been otherwise Look, he's a he's an instinctive player, um, and he did well to overcome that situation and string in a partnership with Hardik. I think the way they played after loss of three wickets was uh, four wickets rather was was uh, quite commendable. And um, in hindsight, you know he, he's still young, so I have made many many errors when I was young uh, in my career, and uh, he will learn. He will look back and think, yes, he could have chosen a, a different option in that situation, maybe, and he realizes that already. So. You know, all these guys have a lot of uh, pride and passion to play for the country and they are the ones who feel the most disappointed when a mistake happens. On the outside, I know it looks like, you know, it was an error, but the person who makes it, trust me, they, they are the ones who suffer the most with it. So, but, uh, Through the campaign, there, was, there were discussions in the media, I'm sure you're aware about the Dhoni's strike rate. Uh, as a captain, was it a first bit of a concern for you that, you know, perhaps the lower order could have forced the pace? more and could have you know collected runs faster well look it's it's always um, you know a, a safer option to look at it from outside and say maybe this could have happened but um, I, I think today he was batting with Jaddu and there was only Bhuvi to follow after so he had to hold one in together in my opinion and because Jaddu was playing so well you needed a solid partnership and to get a hundred and partnership from that situation I think it had to be the right balance of one guy holding an end and Jaddu playing the way he did. I think his knock was outstanding. So, um, yeah, you as I said, when you don't win, in hindsight, a lot of things can reflect in different manners. But you have to understand how the game panned out and till what stage did the game go. And, you know, you, you would obviously expect New Zealand to fight back at some stage because the, the target was steep after losing, you know, five, six wickets. But the way they batted together, I think it was the perfect tempo for that situation, uh, according to me. Uh, Pirat, can you explain the yeah. reasons why MS came so late in the order, uh, you know, at seven? So. Well, he's he's uh, been given that role um, after the first few games of being in a situation where you know he can, if the situation's bad, then he can control one end like he did today, or if there's a scenario where there's six seven overs left, then he can go and strike. So yeah, that was the mindset behind it. How are you, as as a captain and as a player, taking this whole? yourself you know this disappointment basically how are you feeling about it right now of course very disappointed um, we played um, outstanding cricket as i as i mentioned already throughout this tournament and 
to just go out uh, on the basis of 45 minutes of of bad cricket is is you know saddening and it it breaks your heart also because you worked so hard f- throughout the tournament to build momentum you finish in number 1 in the table and then you know a spell of bad cricket and then you're out of the tournament completely so but you have to accept it i mean um it's happened to us before and and we have all come out better cricketers because of these setbacks uh, especially at at a stage um like world cup but uh, having said that i mean we we have qualified till the semis and you know we have played some really good cricket so we should be also proud of the way we played and um uh, look at the positives also because there were a lot uh, throughout this tournament especially rohit's performance was i think stand out performance and just preet with the ball and jadeja given the opportunity so there are many things that we can take back as positives but yeah um not having played that bad cricket and then just as i said 40 45 minutes of bad cricket puts you out but as a sportsman you have to accept it that these are, this is part and parcel of this game but personally how disappointing is it been for you not just this but not having scored that in the knockout matches in the world tournament yeah it's very disappointing um not uh, turning up when the team wanted me to obviously it feels bad um everyone gets disappointed when they get out so it was a natural reaction the uh, sports कल्चर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से अगर आप बात करें तो um, इसीलिए मैंने बोला कि हमें पॉजिटिव्स uh, की तरफ भी देखना चाहिए कि हमने कैसी क्रिकेट खेली इस टूर्नामेंट में और बहुत आसान होता है कि अगर आप बैठ के बोलें कि हाँ उसने नहीं किया या वो नहीं कर पाए और uh, जब आप जीत रहे हैं तो आपको एकदम ऊपर चढ़ा दिया जाए तो एज अ स्पोर्ट्स आप इंडिविजुअली उस चीज़ को कितने लेवल uh, तक एक्सेप्ट करते हैं वो आपके हाथ में है लेकिन um, जब वो बड़े स्केल पे होता है तो वो एक आई थिंक नेशनल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी बन जाती है सबकी कि आप किस तरीके से स्पोर्ट को देखते हैं और किस तरीके से आप रिएक्ट करते हैं स्पोर्ट के लिए तो um, मैं हमेशा से ही इसी चीज़ की फेवर में रहा हूँ कि अगर जीते भी तो एक मेजर्ड रिएक्शन होना चाहिए और अगर हारे भी तो डिसअपॉइंटमेंट होती है लेकिन वो जब एक्सट्रीम हो जाता है तो फिर uh, कई प्लेयर्स उसको शायद ना प्रोसेस कर पाएंगे